Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise experts, and I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful Liberty of the Seas. I'm in my happy place. You've got Caribbean music in the background, the beautiful Caribbean sky up above, getting ready to set sail and head out to Coco Cay in just a few minutes. Now today I'm gonna to take you through all the public spaces on board the Liberty of the Seas. We have the rooms and suites on our channel as well for you to check out. But before we dig in deeper, make sure when you're ready to book your next cruise on the Liberty or any of the cruise ships with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea, you reach out to your hard travel advisor or book it right on hardtravel.com. We know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way and you too could be right here on this pool deck getting ready for an incredible cruise. Now we started up here on deck 12 overlooking the pool deck. You can see behind me they've got the large screen that was added in a bit later. You also have the two large pools down there. One's more of a sports pool, one's more of a chill pool. You've got three very large hot tubs as well and you're going to have seating all the way around. Now up here on deck 12, you're gonna find seating facing out to the beautiful ocean views as we sail away. You've got chairs all the way around here. And then you also have an extra sun deck just above. Now behind me, you'll find the Sky Bar, just hanging out with some of the bartenders over there a few minutes ago, having a great time. They were singing, dancing, laughing, and pouring some incredible drinks. Because the Liberty is a beautiful ship. It has all kinds of incredible things that you're gonna enjoy on board. But to me, it's the crew that is the heart and the soul of this ship and every Royal Caribbean vessel. They bring it to life, they provide amazing service, and they're here to give you your vacation of a lifetime. Now, right below the Sky Bar, you're gonna have the Pool Bar because every great pool deck needs an awesome bar. You're also gonna find some other features. Now, up here, you have this little seating area that's an extension of the bar. You also have these tiered level seating where you, if you're in one of the suites on board or you're a Pinnacle member, you can have that priority sun deck space. Now, there's a ton of sun loungers around here, sun loungers down below, but keep in mind, there's also shade underneath here as well. So if you wanna get a little bit away from the pool, you can get some shaded seating. There's a walking and running track that wraps all the way around on this deck. And then on the far side, you're gonna find Splash Away Bay. Now that's the kids pool area. Let's go check that out now. Now, Royal Caribbean is a family focused cruise line and they do a great job for every single member of the family. I started cruising with Royal when I was eight years old and now my kiddos are cruising with Royal and they've enjoyed all the different water slides, the fun in the sun, but most of all, they love this splash pad area. So you're gonna see that they have a kid's water slide. So for the smaller kiddos, there's some big water slides we'll show you in just a minute. You also have the kid's pool area, waterfall, lots of different fun games like the water cannons over there. You also have a couple hot tubs. Now there's seating all the way around. There's also seating underneath here as well if you want a little bit in the shade. But so what you're gonna find is you've got the main pool deck, once again with the Caribbean band rocking out. You've got the kids pool deck here as well. But if you're looking for something a little bit more chill and you're over 16, you may wanna head to the solarium for a more relaxing area. Let's check that out next. Now just behind me, you'll find the solarium. You will see that it's a bit bigger than you're gonna find on the Voyager class ships. They've added this really cool bridge in there. So you've got seating on either side of the bridge. You've got shallow entrance all the way around so you can sit on the edge, put your toes in the water, sit in there or go for a swim. Now, once again, this is an adults only area. There's a couple showers down there. Of course, you wanna shower off before you go into the pool and afterwards, there's also two large hot tubs. Now, when the Freedom of the Seas came out, these are the first ever cantilevered hot tubs that stuck off the side of the ship. I love that they have them here as well. It's an absolutely wonderful option. Once again, some great options for adults, whether you're looking at the pool, you wanna go in the hot tubs, and of course, if it's an adults only area, they've got a great bar as well. Those bartenders are gonna keep you smiling and keep those drinks flowing. Now at the very top of the ship all the way forward, you're gonna find another really large sun deck. So there's all kinds of deck chairs up here. In fact, it doesn't look like anybody's found it yet because there's nobody up here. Now you're gonna find loungers all the way around the sides. It's also a great place if you're in one of the scenic areas of our world to come on up and get some incredible views. Now when they renovated this ship, they added on some incredible water slides. And so they had to move one of the most important parts of any cruise ship, and that is the mini golf course. So we've got the Liberty Dunes here. It's once again at the top front of the ship. It's a very family friendly place. It's complimentary. We love that concept that, uh, you know, you can come up anytime, you can play, you can have an awesome time with your family. I started playing, like I said, when I was a really little guy with Royal, and now my kids love to come up here. Another one of the great complimentary options. Let's see if I've still got anything going. 
Now, though I can cut across here, I'm a sucker for going through all of these fun, extra amusement style options that they've put on here. So let's see what this does. Mm, oh, okay. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Taylor, you get a little relief, like one club head relief? Nah, who needs it? I did, apparently. There we go, bogey once again. In fact, I think that's my nickname. Now, I'm not sure how this is a par four, but I'm gonna make up a few strokes here, at least hopefully. Yeah, all right, let's see. Back under par and I quit. Now I'm way under par, hole in one. Who would have thunk it? Now the aft of the ship on deck 13, you have all kinds of fun in the sun and they're all complimentary options. We'll start off with the Flow Rider Surf Simulator here. You could go surfing, you could go boogie boarding. It's an absolute blast no matter what your level is. You can learn to surf for the very first time. I find the boogie boarding's a little easier. Taylor loves to carve it up there back like the old school days on the you know, skateboard and snowboard as well. But for me, it's just a great way to have fun. Now, in addition to that, you have three full water slides. Now, you've got two water slides on the far side that are part of the perfect storm. You're also going to have the tidal wave. Now, this is a really unique slide where it does use the rafts, and you're gonna head up and back down. Now, how cool is it to take a water slide off the edge of the ship or head over there with your family and enjoy some water sports fun? These were added to the ships later on after the ship was built. And by doing that, they've really been able to do some incredible things. Once again, complimentary outdoor fun in the sun. Now, growing up, my dad was a high school basketball coach. He coached for over 40 years, one of the winningest in California state history. We always cruised and we always played at the sport court. Lots of three on three, different styles of tournaments. Out here, they do dodgeball, they do soccer, all kinds of fun. In fact, let's see if I've got anything left in the tank here. Uh, not so much. Well, let's check and see if the bank's open. You know? Nope. Must be Sunday. Oh, wait, it's Monday. Is it a holiday? All right, well, let's go our old school. Let's see. Let's see if Rick's got it going today. Nope. Ofer. You know what it is, Taylor? I'm clearly too close in. Yep, that was it. Now another awesome outdoor fun activity is the rock climbing wall. So with each of the federations of ships that Royal has built, they've kind of taken this to a different level. And I love here on Liberty, it's split. So they have several different levels there, depending on how good you are, or basically how hard you want to push yourself. As you'll see, they go up on the sides. They're a little bit more of a decline here on the far sides as well. The whole idea is to race to the top, hit the bell first. And when I used to race my brother, of course, I always made it to the top first. He said it was because I was tall, I think it's just because I was good. Now, whether you're at land or sea, you can always see a Royal Caribbean ship coming because of the beautiful Viking crown on top of the ship. Now here on board the Liberty, the main part of it is olive or twist. It's a bar and lounge. You can see I'm right here on the dance floor. This really is the nightclub here on board, but it's used throughout the day. So you've got the full DJ booth. They'll do trivia up here. I love the concept that they generally do a really cool veterans tribute up here as well. Now there's lounge style seating on the top. So you've got tables for two and four, and then wrapped all the way around the crown, you're gonna find more seating. So you've got small sofas on one side, you're gonna have bar tables and high top bar tables on the other side as well. Now my wife loves to come up here during the day and sew because you get the most incredible light. And of course, as you transition into the evening, they're gonna have a live band sometimes. Most of the time they'll have a DJ up here spinning it and having a great time. One of the cool things is they'll even turn this into a teen disco on one or two nights as well, so that every single member of the family has something awesome to do. Now also up here, you're gonna find the Sweet Lounge and the Diamond Lounge. Let's go check those out. Now, Royal Caribbean's loyalty club is called the Crown and Anchor Society. You're gonna earn points based on the room you stay in and how long you sail. Now, this is the Diamond Club. So this is open to Royal Caribbean guests that are diamond members or higher. So that means you'll be able to come up here during the day, utilize the space, they'll have a continental breakfast usually every morning, some snacks for lunch, and then they also do some great appetizers in the evening. 
Now, one of the great perks of being a Diamond member is this club and also access to the Diamond Concierge. They can help with reservations. They can really take the entire experience to another level. Now, they do have a happy hour in here, but now that they've expanded that throughout the ship, it doesn't get quite as crowded in here, and I love that they've spaced it out so you can go have your Diamond drinks at any bar on the ship and throughout the day. Now, there's also a great outdoor space as well if you want to get a little bit of sun. They've got shaded areas in addition to that. And then it's also a great place to sit. Maybe your kiddos are playing at the sport court or taking advantage of the rock climbing wall. Now, once again, this is up in the Viking Crown, so you get those incredible floor-to-ceiling views as well. Now, if you're staying in a full suite here on board, that's a grand suite and above, you're going to have access to the suite lounge throughout your entire time. Now, the best benefit is, of course, the suite concierge team. Now, your hard travel advisor can help you get the most out of your suite benefits, get incredible value, and that's going to start even before you arrive here on board. Now, in the lounge itself, they'll have light bites for breakfast. You can come up and use the espresso maker anytime that you'd like. They'll also have some great appetizers and a happy hour in the evening each and every single day. Now, because this is set up in the crown as well, you're gonna find that you have those beautiful floor to ceiling windows that wrap all the way around. You get incredible views, especially going in and out of ports and to some of the most scenic parts of our world. Now, it's also gonna have a great outdoor space, so you can grab your coffee, head on out there, maybe a wonderful way to start the day, or you can utilize this space anytime that you like. Now, keep in mind that we do have the suites on our channel for you to see if you wanna check out what all of those look like, and make sure you reach out to your hard travel advisor early because the suites go first. At the very top of the ship, you're gonna find the Skylight Chapel. Now, this used to be very common on board cruise ships, and I love that they still have it here. Now, it's a traditional chapel. You've got the nice little nooks all the way around. You've got the bench style seating. They will do services in here. Generally, they're passenger led, so you can look into that when you get on board if you're interested. It's a great place for prayer, meditation. It's also a great place to relax during the day and gather your thoughts. I love that they have the beautiful stained glass up above. And once again, it's just a nice place to sit back, relax, and do a little bit of meditation. So now we're checking out the Adventure Ocean Center. And one of the things I wanted to point out is you definitely need to stop by on boarding day. This is where you're gonna get your kiddo all registered, ready to rock. And then here, each and every single time you come by, they're gonna check them in and out. Now it's really important that you note anybody who you want to be able to pick up or drop off the kids, just like at school at home. So when we travel, my parents usually do that, sometimes our close friends as well. So maybe my wife and I are out having a delicious specialty dinner. My dad can come by, pick up the little one and head on out and have an absolute blast. Now we've started here with the Aquanauts. So this is gonna be the three to five year old area. It's quite a bit of space. Now they've got TVs over in the corner where they'll do movie time. They also have bench seating wrapped all the way around here. They've got a full craft room over on the far side. And you'll see that there are a ton of cubbies and you'll also see that they do all kinds of incredible activities with the kids. So they'll play games in here, of course. They'll also do things like arts and crafts and science experiments. I know my daughter would come back with different art projects every single day and be so proud of them to show them to us. We put them up in our room as well. So once again, this is for some of the littlest cruisers, three to five years old. They do need to be potty trained. Next up is the six to eight year olds and here they're called explorers. So you see a lot of space in here. So you've got some video game stations over to the side there. Another really large area for arts and crafts, different kinds of coloring. They do model magic. My daughter will absolutely love that. And they also do some really active things in here as well. Gaga ball is always a huge hit, but they do things like bowling and hula hooping and playing basketball. Lots of things for kids that are energetic. Also lots of things for kids that like to sit down, relax and do a little bit more on the arts and crafts side. Now they even have a really nice large dance floor here. They'll put on some dance parties for the kiddos. They've got a DJ booth back there, another television over here. Now I always know that if every single member of the family is having a great time, it's gonna be a phenomenal family vacation. And Royal Caribbean being a family focused cruise line has dedicated a ton of space, but it's really the crew members that make all the difference. They oftentimes have fun names. In fact, my daughter absolutely loved French fry. That was her all time favorite. That was on the Adventure of the Seas a couple years ago, but they bond with the kids. They have a great time themselves. They all have a background in child development. And if your kiddo loves to have a great time, they're gonna really enjoy their time here. Now the nine to 11 year olds are in the Explorers Club. So you'll see very similar to the other ones. You've got video game stations on the far side, a ton of opportunities for arts and crafts and active games. There's a basketball hoop over there, hula hoops. They do bowling in here. Once again, lots of fun and engaging games, but also lots of science, art and crafts. They're gonna do some learning. They're gonna have a great time and putting that all together means all members of the family are gonna enjoy their time on the Liberty. 
So now we're inside AO Royal Babies and Tot. So this is where the littlest cruisers can hang out. Now they start at six months and goes up to 36 months. Now not every single Royal Caribbean ship has this feature. I love that they do. Right now I've got an eight month old. We just cruised on the Symphony a few weeks ago. It was really awesome to have that option. So essentially in here, they've got movies that they can set up for the kiddos. They've got all the little toys that are put away right now. And they even have a sleeping area tucked just behind. So the idea behind here, once again, every single cruiser is gonna have a great time. Starting at six months old, mom and dad can head on out and have a delicious dinner like we did several times on our last cruise, or anybody can really utilize this space for their littlest kiddos. So now we're inside the living room. This is one of the areas dedicated to the teenagers here on board. They also use it for different things during the day as well. But the idea behind it is that there's a place for everyone. So they'll have a lot of fun activities here. They've got that old school mocktails bar over there. You've got the TV screen, so they'll set up movies in here. Lots of little areas where they can tuck away. I was a middle school teacher for over a decade. And I know that this is oftentimes the hardest audience to appease. And I love the concept here. They've dedicated quite a bit of space to the teenagers. They'll do activities in here and around the ship, whether they're right brain or left brain, they're sure to find an activity that they love. So now we're inside of fuel. Now this is the teen area, the dedicated teen area where they're gonna spend most of their time. Now keep in mind, teens can check themselves in and out. You're definitely gonna wanna stop by and introduce them here as well. Now you've got a really nice large dance floor, all the lights up here, the DJ booth, of course, for the evening dance parties, but wrapped all the way around, you're gonna find booth style seating. That's where my middle schoolers used to always hang out. But you also love, I love that they have TVs in here. They've got a video game station on the far side. They've got that full mocktail bar as well. And then and more bar style seating on the far side. Now keep in mind with the teens, there's a lot going on around the ship as well. Oftentimes they'll be using the water slides, they'll be using the flow rider surf simulator, heading out to the pool. So this is just one piece of the puzzle of keeping teens entertained. Now we're headed into the Challengers Arcade. Now the first thing I wanted to point out is it does come at an additional cost. You can set a budget for your kiddos or maybe for dad as well, but the idea behind it is you definitely wanna have that discussion. Now you've got all kinds of classic arcade games and some new ones as well. So you've got Ski Ball, one of my all time favorites here. This is a bit of a virtual reality style game, like a Jurassic Park type. You're gonna have Guitar Hero. You're gonna blast out some driving games. So these are specifically Fast and Furious. You also have Mario Kart. Over here, you've got Trophy Hunting. We'll shout out to Ron Swanson, my buddy. And then as we continue along, you're gonna find all kinds of different styles of games. I love that they have the driving games, the air hockey, all of it. Once again, it does come at an additional cost, but it's an absolute blast. Now, one of Royal Caribbean's very first specialty restaurants was Johnny Rockets. Now, this is a chain that they have in the US as well. It's a 1950s diner style experience. In fact, you can even see the jukeboxes on the counter here and at the booths. I remember coming in here for the very first time on the inaugural of this ship, rocking out to some nights 50s and 60s music that I was raised on. That's what my dad always listened to. Little Johnny Be Good, some Beach Boys, lots and lots of fun. But this is all what it's all about, is great hamburgers. They also have some phenomenal chili. It does come at an additional cost. It's a pretty minimal cost, but you have seating inside at the bar. You've got booth style seating here and outside as well. Once again, just a great place to stop by for a burger, whether in the afternoon or late into the evening. And I've had more than my fair share on this ship very late in the evening. So now we're headed into the Windjammer, which is the classic buffet option here on board. So right here in the middle, you've got a full bar. They're gonna provide bar service around. You can also dine right here. And I love that you can have fresh squeezed juice and they also have a coffee machine here you can take advantage of in the morning. So now we're gonna head out and check out the actual buffet area. So there's seating all the way around on both sides. Now you're gonna have buffet lines on both sides here. You've got your silverware, plates, of course. Now keep in mind that there's redundancy. So in addition to having them on this side, you're gonna have it on the other side as well. And then it also overflows into the aft. So you can see here, you've got some great grab and go salad options. You've got some pasta options here, rice, some wonderful Indian food and some desserts. But I'm gonna take you to my favorite place all the way in the aft. Let's check that out next. Now, of course, I took you to the most important part. That is the dessert station. There's three of these. They're on either side and one in the very aft here. Goes to the other side as well. What you're gonna find is a ton of redundancy. So my recommendation is always go to the back. It's where you're gonna find the most open seating, especially on boarding day. It wraps all the way around here. You have drink stations on either side, just like you do towards the front. 
And then you're gonna see on either side, you've got the hot food line. So today they've got barbecue chicken. They've got some great Indian options I mentioned. I really love what they've done with that. And then you've got the full grill behind me. So boarding day right now, you're gonna have burgers, fries, hot dogs, hamburgers. It's lunchtime. For dinner, they'll switch it out. And then also for breakfast is where you'll find the egg station. You get your omelets, your poached eggs, eggs Benedict, all of those delicious options. So once again, this is the buffet option. There's seating that wraps all the way around the sides, including the very, very aft of the ship. You're gonna find all your favorite grab and goes. This does complement Sereno's Pizza and several other options where you can also get casual dining that's included here on board. Now, one of the classic Royal Caribbean specialty restaurants on all the ships is Chops Grill. This is that unapologetic steakhouse menu that so many guests love. Whether you wanna start out with that amazing pork belly, personally, I go for the crab cake and the colossal shrimp cocktail. When you move your way through the menu, delicious bisque, of course, lobster bisque is the only way to go. The crispy goat salad. There's so many wonderful options to complement all of the fantastic steak and seafood. Now, I love that they have this open kitchen concept. Keep in mind, I'm always going with that bone-in ribeye. It's the juiciest, it's the tastiest, but if you love a filet, you can't go wrong here either. Now you'll see that it's quite a large space. It goes all the way back. You've got tables for two and four, and it's used for different things. It's also used for the breakfast for sweet guests. It's one of my favorite upgrades. My family and I on our last cruise on Navigator, we really, really enjoyed having Chops Grill for breakfast every day. Get that big brioche French toast. Lots of great upgrades as well. Once again, this is generally the most popular of the specialty restaurants, so I always recommend that you pre-reserve. So you've got tables for two and four here, and then as we head further back, you're gonna have round tops here if you're six. You've got larger tables they can put together. I personally love the booths. And then of course, if you get really thirsty, they do have an extra large bottle of champagne. Now, one of the delicious specialty restaurants here on board is Giovanni's Table. Now, this is a classic Italian menu. I absolutely love it. You've got the calamari, the minestrone, my personal favorite, the tagliatelle carbonara is delicious, filet mignon, lots of great upgraded options. Now, keep in mind, you can purchase different packages. You generally can't pre-reserve all those restaurant times, but if you're looking for a bargain, that's one way to get into all the specialties at a lower cost. Now it's a really large restaurant. It goes all the way back. You've got a huge selection of wine that they can pair perfectly with the meals. You've got booth style seating. You've got large family style tables for 10. You also have tables for two and four by the windows. Once again, Giovanni's table. Everybody loves Italian. If you do, make sure you stop by. So now we're just inside the Vitality Spa and Salon. This is where you can get all of those world-class spa treatments that you love at home here at sea. And to me, nothing says vacation like a nice relaxing massage, a facial, manicure, pedicure, whatever it is that you do to relax so you can feel the best about yourself. Now you definitely want to start right here in the spa on boarding day. They'll provide complimentary tours. You can sign up for your different treatments. Oftentimes you can do that ahead of time as well. Now keep in mind that the sea days do fill up quicker than the port days. Oftentimes they have port day discounts as well. But once again, if you're looking for a massage, a facial, a wrap, any of your favorites, you're sure to find them here. Now let's tour the space. So now we're just inside the hair and beauty salon. Starting off to the side here, you've got your pedicure stations. They've got those really nice, large massage chairs. I love that they have the hot stone set up as well. They can combine different treatments for you. Now over here, you're gonna find a couple of the hair areas so you can get your hair done up. Maybe you wanna go out and have an incredible night here on board the Liberty, or maybe you're looking for a revolutionary new haircut to start your time back at home as well. You can do that here. Now you've got several more hair stations on the other side. You've got your manicure stations here as well get some wonderful, wonderful people that work here, take great care of you. And then finally, you're gonna find that you have the teeth whitening area over there. So there's quite a few different treatments that you can try out. Once again, spa is at an additional cost, but if you love to relax on vacation, what better place? Now, once you check in for one of your treatments, you're gonna come right here to the relaxation room. Now it's where you're gonna fill out a little bit of paperwork, that way your therapist can get to know you, your likes and your dislikes, so you can get the most out of your treatment. Now you can also come here afterwards to relax a little bit. It's all about getting in and maintaining that Zen mindset. Now they do have infused waters and teas and things along that nature. You always wanna make sure and hydrate, especially when you're getting a massage. So now we're inside one of the treatment rooms. Looks very much like any treatment room anywhere. I wanted to take you in this one because I love that they have the hot stones set up. That's my personal favorite massage, but they also do the bamboo massages, deep tissue massages, different kinds of wraps, facials, and they also have things like acupuncture as well. So once again, an overall health and wellness approach here at the Vitality Spa. 
So now we're headed into the fitness center. Now our very first stop is on the side. They're gonna have the changing rooms, sauna and steam rooms. Now they're separate ones for ladies and gentlemen. They are complimentary and they're really nice, large size. So you can use that throughout your time here on board. Now, as we head further in, hey, it's been a while since I've seen you, looking a little pasty. Gotta get that guy out in the sun. What's going on there? Now, as I head in, I do love a little bit of nostalgia. Now, when this ship was launched, right here was a boxing ring. They were bringing things like kickboxing and different styles of training in as well. It was a bit of a novelty. They had to take it out after I won 17 bouts in a row. But you know, it used to be right here. Now they use it for different styles of classes. Now it really is a fitness center as you would expect to see. You've got all of the favorite equipment that you're gonna find at home. So you've got your free weights over on the side here to start. You can see they have some different dumbbells and barbells over there. They've got the different benches here. And then they have a wide variety of the different machines. So if you're looking for a full circuit workout, you can definitely do that. Now you're gonna find that the circuit machines wrap all the way around here so you can do a full body workout. And then they have an enormous amount of cardio equipment. So you're gonna find treadmills lining all the way around the front of the ship. I love that. There's just something motivating about seeing the ocean in front of you, especially on a sea day. Now you've got bikes, you've got ellipticals, you've got a stair stepper over there as well. And then you're gonna find that it continues around. You have a rowing machine over on the side. So once again, a full complement of cardio and circuit machines. Now there's also a large aerobic studio. So they're gonna do classes in here, stretching, yoga, they have spin class, all kinds of different options. And one of the things that I really like too, is you can come in and you can use this when they're not having classes. So they've got the kettlebells, they've got some dumbbells over there, different step equipment. And then you'll also find the yoga mats. I really love that they have the foam rollers. Oftentimes when flying a long distance or just going out and enjoying all the excursions that you have here on the ship, I love coming back, rolling it out, feel a lot better. On deck 10 by the aft elevator bank, you're gonna find the card room. So in here, they've got different games that you can play. Of course, you can get together for cards. They'll do different get togethers very specifically if you're looking to play bridge or something along those lines. It's also a great place where you can grab the daily crossword or the Sudoku. Now, those of you who've been on this ship before might recognize this as the former concierge club, which was the suite lounge previously. That's now moved up to deck 14, where I think it actually belongs with the beautiful sunlight and all those incredible windows there. Now, this is still a great space, once again, to gather and have some fun. Now, deck nine by the aft elevator bank, you'll find the library. Now, this did used to be quite a bit bigger during some recent renovations. They changed it up a little bit, but I love that they still do have books that you can borrow, utilize while you're here on board. It's also where you're gonna find the community bulletin board. Maybe you wanna put together your own get together. It's a great spot for that. There's also a little reading area where you can sit, look down over the promenade. Now at the Deck 8 aft elevator bank, you're gonna find Royal Caribbean Online. Now this is the classic internet cafe. They used to have a lot more computers here, but I love the idea that they still do have the computers. You can come up, do a little work, check some news out if you'd want. And it's also a great place to print your boarding passes. Now, of course, if you're in the suites or you're a diamond member or higher, you can do that up in the diamond lounge or the suite lounge. I do like they've added these workstations here with European and US plugs as well. You can bring your own laptop, tablet, and set up shop here. Now, I did want to point out, this is also where you're going to find the Royal Caribbean Crown and Anchor Society Loyalty Ambassador. They're going to be able to answer all your questions that have to do with your status or maybe trying to earn that status and all the benefits that it entails. Now we're inside the elegant three-story dining room. I know the very first time I saw this ship and its sisters, I was absolutely blown away. There's just something magnificent about the space itself. You've got the big columns, of course, the incredible chandelier up above, but there's a great energy in here for meals. Now a cruise ship is a great place to try new things. You're gonna find everything in here is included. They do have some upgrades if you wanna get lobster tail or maybe a bigger one on not lobster night, you know what I mean? But the idea behind it is really you can try new things, you can sit with new people, make new friends, or of course you can request a small table for your family or for two people. Now it's on three stories, it's on deck three, four, and five. You're gonna have incredible service from the waiters and the bus staff, and I love that as well. I've always formed some great relationships. Many of the waiters that we worked with 10, 15, 20 years ago, we're still friends with, and I absolutely adore that. In fact, one of my favorite events is they'll get all the wait staff will line up on the beautiful stairway behind me. They'll sing to you, basically welcoming and then saying goodbye as well. And it's just about bringing all the cultures and all of the people together. Now at the very top, you can see that there's a dining room area up there as well. That's where they do the chef's table. That's one of those specialty restaurant options here on board. They only do it for 10 at a time and they usually just do it once a night. So it is important to pre-book that or book it as soon as you get on board. It's gonna be a tasting menu that's combined with wine. 
But once again, what this is about is of course the complimentary dining experience. It's an absolutely massive three-story restaurant where you're gonna find delicious food with a rotational menu each and every single day. Now, as we head forward towards Studio B, you're first gonna find On Air. So there's a stage up here. It's really a karaoke bar at heart. They use it for different styles of entertainment. It's also a bit of a sports bar as well. You're gonna have TVs all the way around, booth style seating tables for two and four. And then of course, you're gonna have a full bar over there as well. So if you wanna channel your inner musician, get up here, belt out your favorite songs, or just, like I said, mess up everybody's eardrums, make sure you stop by and enjoy a session. Now, one of my personal favorite features of the Freedom Class ships are the Royal Promenades. Now, it goes all the way down the ship. It's three stories high, and it really gives you that sense of volume. The ship is a very large ship, and to me, this is an innovation that I think Royal got very, very right. Started with the Voyager class, and it's worked all the way through. Now, here I'm heading over the bridge, so you can actually see down to deck four and three below me. On one side, you're gonna find the R bar. Now this is Royal Caribbean's retro 1970s style bar. You've got that picture booth over there. A lot of people love to take pictures there actually. You've got booth style seating. You also have seat tables for two and four. And then of course, the full bar. Now on the other side, you're gonna find the purser's desk or passenger services. Now this is everything to do with money. Think of the front desk as a hotel. It does get very busy the first day and the last day. So I always recommend that you do your business during the cruise. They can answer any questions about money, about your room and things along those lines. Now, right next to that, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. Now the shore excursions desk is where you can ask questions about shore excursions. You can also book them, but we always recommend that you book them ahead of time. They do fill up. Now we do work with some third party operators if you're looking for some private options. They also have a great private option with their, their private journeys concept that they have. But once again, you don't wanna be disappointed. So you always wanna book that ahead. Now, as we head on to the promenade, it feels very much like a city street. You're gonna find different styles of shops. You have dining, you have a little bit of entertainment and you also have some great retail. Now I did wanna point out the next cruise desk. Royal knows you're gonna have such a great time that you're gonna to wanna to book your next cruise on board. In fact, there's offers offered just on board that are not offered on land. So you can book your next open cruise where essentially you just book a certificate, let us know when you get back and we can help you pick the perfect cruise for you. Or you can pick the exact cruise that you're looking for and get some extra onboard credits or discounts. Now there's a stairway down to the photo gallery here. And then on the other side, you're gonna find the first retail with Get Out There. So this is a lot of the different swimwear style, again, different clothing options, and maybe things that you forgot at home. Next up is the cupcake cupboard. So this is something they don't have on many of the ships anymore. I actually really like it. You can purchase delicious cupcakes. They also do some really cool cupcake making classes. Now, right next door, you're gonna find some more dessert options. So you've got Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Now this does come at an additional cost, just like the cupcake cupboard, but you're gonna find elevated ice cream. So if you want some chunky monkey, that's the place that you wanna stop by. On the other side, you're gonna find Cafe Promenades. Now this is where you can get some light bites for breakfast. They'll have sometimes a little donuts and croissants and things like that. You also have fruits, but it's primarily the coffee shop on board. So you have complimentary drip coffee over there. And then here you're gonna find all of your favorite Starbucks options. So you can choose from those. Those do come at an additional cost as well. Now, as we start to head further down the promenade, you're gonna see more retail options. So you've got the general store on one side. This is where you'll find sundries, things you might've left behind, but also where you can get alcohol and tobacco. Now these do come at a duty-free price, which is oftentimes a big discount from what you're gonna find at home. Keep in mind, they're not for onboard consumption, so you'll purchase them and get them a bit later. Now over here, you're gonna find gifts and jewelry. So the gifts and jewelry is exactly what it sounds like. It's where you're gonna find different kinds of high-end jewelry options, once again, at duty-free prices. Now you've got a vintage car right here on the promenade. You'll find that on every single one of the Royal Promenades. In fact, you even have a teddy bear in there. Nice throwback to Mr. Fain, the former CEO. Now on the opposite side, you're gonna find the logo and souvenir wear. So if you wanna get your favorite Royal Caribbean logo wear, a Liberty of the Sea shirt to tell everybody that you've been here on board, you can find all of those in there and they actually have a pretty wide assortment. On the opposite side, you're gonna find Vintage's wine bar. Now, Vintages is a classic wine bar. You're gonna find a ton of wine options here. You've got some great seating areas. So you've got sofas over to the side. You're gonna have love seats and high top tables on the far side as well. So this is where you'll be able to participate in different wine tasting events. Of course, they have the full bar here as well where you can choose. The sommeliers here will help guide you to the perfect wine. Or once again, you can get a little bit of education. 
Now they've had a partnership with the Mondavi family wineries for quite some time, and you'll find a lot of those options in here as well. Now, one of the things I like about this class of ship is the flow between decks. So Casino Royale is one deck down on deck four, but you're gonna have a stairway that heads all the way down there so that you can utilize that as you'd like. Right next to it, you're gonna find perfume and cosmetics. Once again, more duty-free options. I know my wife sometimes likes to stock up on her favorites there at lower prices. Now you're always going to find a pub on Royal Caribbean ships. This one is the Hoof and Claw. So it's meant to be a classic English pub. I love that you have great seating areas out here. You've got tables for two, four, six. They'll do parades on the promenade. They'll do parties on the promenade. This is a great place to grab a seat, do a little bit of people watching and participate. Now inside, you'll also see that they have a speaker set up over there. They also have a tiny stage. So they'll have a guitar player here usually each and every single night, playing some of your favorites and also taking requests. You've got a full bar on the backside as well. Now, as we head further down the promenade, you've got the port and shopping desk. So they'll be able to guide you through places to shop with Royal Caribbean guarantees while you're in the different ports. So if you wanna make sure you get a certain quality and it's guaranteed by the company, make sure you stop by and learn a little bit more about that. Next up is Sorrento's Pizza. Now on the earlier Voyager class ships, this was combined with, with Cafe Promenade. I love that they've separated it apart here. So you'll have all your favorite pizza options. Every day they have cheese, they've got pepperoni, and then they'll have like a rotating pizza of the day. They'll usually have some antipasto items in there as well. Now there's seatings inside Sorrento, so you've got booth style seatings in there. And then there's also some seating outside. I've known to have one or two slices of pizza at, one or two in the morning here after going up and enjoying time at the club. Now the Fashion Boutique is the final stop here on the Royal Promenade. This is where you're gonna find high-end bags, you think Coach, Louis Vuitton, different items like that, once again at duty-free prices. Now from here you can get a great angle of it. They decorate the promenade for all the different parties. My personal favorite is always the 70s party. I love when the cruise director's up there leading a the little YMCA from the bridge. And also where you see the bridges here, those are large fire breaks. So on a cruise ship, safety is paramount as you would expect. And when designing these ships, it was really an engineering feat to kind of put all that together, just like it was to put in a 15-story elevator. Now there are ships quite a bit bigger, but when this ship was built, it was truly a wonder. Now the very forward part of the promenade, just after the Star Lounge, you're gonna find the Connoisseur Club. Now when this was built, it was a cigar bar. So you had a full humidor there, and of course, they had a wide variety of whiskeys and cognacs to choose from. It's no longer that. Now it's used as more of a multi-function room, so you can utilize this for some games. They usually have some fun ones that you can play with friends. You see right now it's set up for a presentation. Now Hard Travel does a lot of big groups and conferences. It's very important that you get far ahead of those so you can get the exact space you want, but make sure you reach out to Hard Travel when you're ready to book your next group, whether it's an incentive group, or a family reunion, we're happy to assist. Now at the very forward of deck five in front of the promenade, you're gonna find the Star Lounge. Now this is a true old school cruise lounge experience. So you're gonna find that you have tiered style seating, so it goes up and then moves all the way down. You've got booths, you've got tables for two and four, small cocktail tables, but right in the middle, you're gonna find the dance floor and stage. Now they'll use this for all kinds of things. One of my favorites is of course, cruise karaoke always an absolute blast and i've been known to ruin a few people's eardrums myself there now they'll also use this for game shows different styles of lectures and entertainment it's really a multi-use lounge now we do use this sometimes for private groups they've also got the projector they can even put a movie in here you've got the full dj booth in the back you're also going to have a full bar set up as well so they'll use this day and night throughout your cruise Next up is Bolero's Latin theme bar. So what you're gonna find, they have a full bandstand up there. They'll do some great Latin music, whether it's flamenco, you can do a little bit of tango here and there, you know, salsa even. The idea behind it is you can come sit at the bar. It's got a really nice large bar area, lots of seating over here, and then also on the starboard side of the ship as well. And they'll provide bar service all throughout. But you're gonna see a lot of people dancing here on the, on the dance floor, listening to the music, enjoying, and of course you can belly up to the bar and make friends with the bartender. They make pretty darn good drinks. Now, one of the great things about cruising is creating memories and capturing them. So if you want to bring a nice picture frame, maybe not quite this size home, you definitely want to take some pictures on board. Now, they'll take your picture if you want to at boarding, when you get on and off the ship in the different ports, sometimes in the dining room and around the ship. And a lot of our guests absolutely love it. When you get dressed up for formal night, a lot of our guests love to use that as maybe a Christmas card style photo, but you also can do formal portraits. So they have an area where you can sit, 
make sure you reserve that with them. They can even take photos around the ship as well, but it's a perfect place to capture the memories. Now, one of the things that I love now is they've digitized all of it. Back in the old days of cruising, they would print out every single picture. You'd come over, you'd look at them all, pick the ones that you want. Now, all you have to do is slide your CPASS card right here. You can see all the photos that they've taken throughout the ship, throughout the entire cruise, and you can utilize that to buy a package. If you wanna buy all the digital prints, you can you wanna buy one or two, or if you wanna get them printed on different styles of media, they can do that for you as well. Now, if you love to gamble, you're gonna love the Casino Royale here on board. Now, keep in mind, you always wanna gamble responsibly, but they're gonna have all of your favorite table games, slot machines, and of course, the multi-use games as well. Now, you've got a huge bar here at the middle. They'll be providing service all the way throughout. On one side, you're gonna find all of the table games. So you've got three card poker, Ultimate Texas Hold'em. I see some roulette over there, craps, of course. And I love that they still have hand-dealt Texas Hold'em. Now, personally, it's one of my favorite games to play here in the casino, but whatever it is that you enjoy, whether it's all the slot machines, I do like to pull the Wheel of Fortune every once in a while from time to time, or if you're looking for table games, you're sure to find what you're looking for here at the Casino Royale. Now, my personal favorite bar on every Royal Caribbean ship is the Schooner Bar. It's a great place to gather, and it pays tribute to the old ships of the Caribbean, the old schooners. Now, they have lots of nautical themes in here. They even have a great ship model, but at the center, you're gonna find a piano. Now, every single one of the schooner bars has a piano. They'll have piano players playing every single night, playing your favorite hits. They'll take requests from you as well. Now, I love the entire nautical theme. They also use this for different things like trivia during the day. And it's really just a great place to gather with friends. I always find that it has the best energy of any of the bars. And of course, that comes down to the bartenders. They're the best in the business. They're gonna be pouring great drinks for you and keeping you entertained, smiling, and uh, maybe even a little bit tipsy from time to time. Now, as we head further back, you can see there's more schooner seating back here as well. So you've got tables and chairs for two and four, and then more of the nautical theme all the way back. Now, another one of the great specialty restaurants here on board is Sabor. Now, this is elevated Mexican cuisine. I love that they do the table side guacamole preparation. They also have a lot of great delicious options. Keep in mind, all the specialties do come at an additional cost, but if you're looking for a little bit of elevated flair, maybe celebrating a birthday or a fun event, Sabor is a great place for the family. So now we're inside the Royal Theater, and if Royal is known for one thing and one thing only, it would really be the entertainment. They do an incredible job across the ship, but they really blow it out of the water with the shows. Now you're gonna find full production shows in here. They're designed by Royal Caribbean. They do a great job with the singers and dancers and put on an incredible production. But in addition to that, they're gonna utilize this for different styles of lectures. They'll also have great headliner entertainment that they bring in, maybe a comedian, a juggler, a magician, or a consortium of several. Now really what this is, is it's a great theater setup. You've got stadium style seating up here. We're up on the top balcony. You've got stadium style seating that goes all the way up in the back down on deck three as well. But you can see it's a massive stage. They put on big show spectacles. It's all included in your fare as well. Just another reason why you love Royal Caribbean. Now, Royal Caribbean has had a relationship with Park West Galleries for quite some time. So if you're looking to purchase art on board, this is a great gallery where you can check that out. Now, you can just come by and do a bit of learning. They'll do different auctions throughout the cruise. So you can come up, get some complimentary champagne and learn about the different art. See some of the favorites from Brito and Peter Max, Kincaid. Lots of different great options here for you to choose from. Even Godard, who's my personal favorite over on the far side there. So once again, if you wanna purchase art, you can usually do it at lower cost than at home, or if you just wanna learn about it or check out the beautiful pieces, you can do that right here. Studio B Ice Rink is a Royal Caribbean classic. In fact, you'll only find it with Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. Now it's a great place where you can go ice skating yourself. They'll push these stands back. They've got all the different ice skates for you to choose from. And then you can head on out and enjoy a free skate. In fact, my daughter's very first time skating was on the Navigator of the Seas. She absolutely loved it and also got to skate with her cousins as well. But it's much more than that. It's also a place to take advantage of some incredible included entertainment options. They put on a full production show. In fact, Royal Caribbean is one of the largest employers of former Olympic athletes in the world because you'll find some incredible ice skaters here. They're gonna put on a magnificent show that you are sure not to wanna miss. Now you do need to reserve the show just like the other entertainment as well. And if you're a Diamond member above, you can work with the Diamond Concierge or Suites. You can also work with the Suite Concierge for that. 
Now they'll also be able to cover this up and they'll do different parties. I've done a sock hop party in here, but of course my favorite is the Quest. It's an adults only scavenger hunt. If you know, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's an absolute blast, but it's a true multi-use area. They've got bars on the far side as well. So once again, make sure you don't miss the ice skating show on your next cruise on the Liberty. Now the Liberty of the Seas has a great conference area down on deck too. There's actually four of these rooms that can connect together to make much larger conference rooms. And of course, throughout the ship, there's other facilities that you can utilize with a group. Now we do plan groups and it's really important that you get far ahead of them because you wanna lock down this space and then of course take offline quite a few cabins for anybody that's coming with you. Whether it's a family reunion group, maybe you're doing a meetings or incentive group, make sure you reach out and we would love to assist. Now I'm sure by now you can see why the Liberty of the Seas is a favorite of so many of our guests. And when you're ready to spend some time here on board to vacate your life at home and have the ultimate cruise vacation experience, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Royal Caribbean and we can't wait to help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. I'm going on that water slide in a minute.